That was pretty epic. And I feel like it may disappoint you now. <laughs> so my name is Jay Dave, and when I first tell people I do a bit of stand-up comedy, they always say, Jay, wh where do you get your inspiration? And I can honestly now tell you that it's when I'm in the shower. And I tend to look down and see the biggest joke of my life. <laughs> So I think you'll find a lot of my jokes quite short <laughs> and a bit of an anti-climax. <laughs> so I'm from Southampton University. Give me a cheer. <laughs> from oh, I had a few booze reports with the university. Yes. Yeah. I have a mic and a sense of humour, and you're from Portsmouth University. Do you, do you really want to do that? <laughs> do the maths. You'll probably do accounting anyway. Do the maths. <laughs> So, uh, what else can I tell about myself? Uh, I'm brown. Uh, some of you are thinking, no shit, he's brown, and you're absolutely right, no shit. It's all pure natural brownness. <laughs> and over the next five minutes, I want to talk to you about some of my personal experiences, almost like the good, the bad, and the ugly of my personal experiences of being brown. Say, for example, initially, I thought being brown gave me superpowers. I don't mean bargaining. I mean, I genuinely <laughs> thought we were so powerful, so indestructible, we were immune to the sun. You may laugh, but you didn't laugh, but that's fine. You, whatever, whatever. So we, I, I'd be down the beach with my white friends, and they'll go to me, Oh, Jay, aren't you going to put some sun cream on? That sounds white people this week kind of watch and educated. I don't know about Paul Smith, more like. <laughs> So they'll say, Jay, no sun cream, and I go, no, not me, not the brown one, for I'm immune to the sun. I have a thick layer of human body hair, yeah, it is. <laughs> and beautiful golden brown skin to protect me from the sun. So I'll go home. After singeing for six hours straight with no sun cream, and I'll jump in the shower. And fuck a duck, that shit burns. <laughs> so yeah, brown people, we, we don't have superpowers. Uh, what else do brown people not have? Relationships! Give me a cheer if you're in a relationship. I was expecting a little bit more tension for a brown event, but that's fine. I, I don't know if you can see, but there was a lady over there. I don't know what your name is. Hello. Yeah. Oh, here. Not like your friend up here. Oh, you're ignoring me. Oh, that's what you're doing. So I don't know your name. But when I said that, she absolutely bricked herself. Are my parents here? Are my parents here? No? Take attention away from me. Um, I personally have three girlfriends. <laughs> I have three girlfriends. Look at that jawline. Ooh. I can have three girls. Naturally, my parents don't know about them, and neither do the girls. I'm pretty honest about that. But um, yeah, my parents don't know about them, which is why I seriously regretted inviting my dad here today. Um, hi, Dad, wherever you are. That's going to be an awkward drive home. Fight. Okay, I found a lot of brown people get into fights, and I'm not one of them, because I got told some very important bit of advice. Never get into a fight with someone uglier than you, because they got less to lose. <laughs> I think it's very, very true, but I've never found someone uglier than me to have a fight with. Got it. I don't know if that's <laughs> He looks badass. A badass, I mean, he removes his USB stick without his own safety removed. You know I mean? <laughs> I'm joking, please don't genuinely fight me, look at me. <laughs> also, I've got back up. I don't mean thugs and the crew, I mean my mum with a bellow. <laughs> and my mask with some jump on, right? <laughs> I almost did get into a fight, actually. It was in Portsmouth Standard. Um, I was walking down your beautiful, newly landscaped, newly done up, I don't know, is it Somers, Somers Road? Somers Road? <laughs> oh yeah. I was walking down there, I don't know why. Um, I'm walking down there and this random guy jumps out at me and goes, Oi! You give him my friend beef! <laughs> so I pooped my balls. <laughs> and then I realized I'm a Hindu and we don't do beef, so that's all fine. <laughs> do we have any Muslims in the house? Give us a cheer. <laughs> I wouldn't cheer too loud if you don't come out too good in this story. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's not going to be a terrorist joke because we've all grown up and realized Muslims aren't terrorists and terrorists aren't Muslims. Also, I found terrorist jokes tend to blow up in your face, so <laughs> stay clear of that altogether. No, 
being brown, you get to go to those weddings, right? So I had a genuine privilege. I was just so excited because my friend invited me to a wedding. It was a Pakistani Muslim wedding. The tension just rose in the room. Did you feel that? <laughs> I, I felt like I was behind enemy lines, but I absolutely loved it. And I got sat down at this table with my friend, and he left me. Uh, he went to get a drink at the bar or something. No, he didn't. It was a Muslim event. He didn't get a drink at the bar. <laughs> so I'm sat there with these people, and I think, I should really get some conversation going. What should I ask? What should I ask? Okay, with a standard wedding question. So, what side of the family are you from? Both. <laughs> I told you at the beginning I was going to go through the good, the bad, and the ugly of the sight of being brown, and now we're, we're hitting the ugly. Oh yeah. Not me. No, we don't hit me. We're hitting <laughs> the kind of, the biggest issue to face modern day Hindus. Hindus especially. And yes, you guessed it, it's the term YOLO. <laughs> For any of the uninitiated, any of the old folks, or my dad, dad you're not an old folk, it's fine. <laughs> YOLO stands for you only live once, and I'm going to shout out a few scenarios. And you just shout out YOLO when you feel it's appropriate, alright? So we'll start off easy. Going for a night, no, going for a night out for a 9 a.m. lecture. YOLO! Yeah. 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 Thank God you shouted out, I would have to be up with myself. Weird. Uh, drug addiction. Yeah. Teenage pregnancy. Yeah. Uh, alcoholism. Yeah. Going to Portsmouth University. YOLO! Yeah. 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 You were starting to like me, now I've missed you off. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, I think that the major problem Hindus have with this idea of YOLO is we believe in reincarnation and the law of karma, or goma, as it's pronounced properly. And this law of goma has got kind of a, a, a misconception and it has a misunderstanding. I like to clear it up with an example. Um, my man on the end, what's your name? Raj. <laughs> I could have guessed that. Just. <laughs> Alright, say this misconception. Say Raj was just shit in my kettle. <laughs> I don't know why you do that, Raj. You sit free. Say the common mis misconception is say Raj was just shit in my kettle. He would then have to check his tea every morning to check if it was brown or if I'd reciprocate the deed, if you get what I mean. That's not how karma works. Karma is simply the law of cause and effect. So you have to live with the consequences of your actions. So think it through. Hey, that's pretty good. Think it through. I quite like it. Okay. I propose, instead of YOLO, why don't we use THINK IT THROUGH? I suppose the only problem with that is THINK IT THROUGH. The acronym for THINK IT THROUGH is, is TIT. <laughs> <laughs> it can work, right? So, don't YOLO, be a TIT, think it through. I've been JJ, you've been absolutely fantastic. <laughs>